consent to a divorce. I will fight it every step of the way. I, I will tie you up in the courts for years. No matter how many judges you manage to buy, I will make you bleed before I let you throw me out like yesterday's newspaper. Not after all the years of misery I've endured being married to you. Are you out of your mind? After what you've done to me and my family, it'll be an open and shut case. Oh, far from it, Julian. You and I both know you can't afford to get rid of me. No, your family still needs my family's influence. Oh, the Cranes may have all the money, but my family has the political clout and respect you need. And besides, you need my silence. Tell her to stop, Julian. Mm, he can't, Rebecca, because he knows I'm right. I know too much about the Crane's dirty linen. I know where all the bodies are buried. Oh, the headlines about Ethan's fraternity? <sighs> Pale in comparison, don't they, Julian? How dare you threaten me? I have endured years of misery from you two. I deserve a wife who wants me, a wife who welcomes me to her bed. Well, I'm your wife, so get used to it. I don't know, Mother. It looks like you may not get Julian after all. Watch me. If your precious son Ethan can marry for love, then so can I. Oh, it's an unorthodox proposal, but I accept. Excuse me? Well, that was a marriage proposal, wasn't it? Where do you get your gall, Rebecca? Oh, I didn't misunderstand, did I? No, you did not, my little crumb bun. Will you marry me, Becky? Oh, of course. I can't wait to be Mrs. Julian Crane. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't over, Julian. Far from it. So that's your big news. Well, maybe it doesn't sound like much to you, but it means everything to me. In case I haven't told you lately, I love your sister with my whole heart. I love you too, Ethan. And that's why it wasn't a big deal for me to close out my savings account and give you my money. So what if we start off with next to nothing? As long as we're together, there'll be no stopping us. Well, you don't have to convince me. <laughs> I think you're perfect together. Yeah, only now that Teresa made this incredible gesture by giving me all her savings, I want to do something for her. Now, what do you think I can do to prove that I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Well, there is one thing I can think of. Name it. Why wait to get married? Why not do it right away? Are you serious? I'd say she is, Ethan. No! What is wrong, Louise? Don't you want me to marry Ethan anymore? No, what are you, you against our relationship now? Miguel? Miguel, can you hear me? I can't see Miguel. Charity either. They must be deeper in the flames by now. I pray this ladder will be long enough. Dear Lord, help us. I've got to get closer. No, Father, you get burned. It's our only hope. Stand back.
What's happening? What's happening? Okay, since you're dying to see. Look for yourself. What is that? That, my soulless wonder, is the so-called Ladder of Lucifer. The supposed salvation of Miguel and little Miss Goody Gumdrop. Then they'll be saved. Over my dead body. in heat. Blazes! Maybe that'll cool you off. I want to speak with you, Julian. Anything you care to say to me can be said in front of my fiance. Come with me right now, Julian, or I will break off more than your engagement. Dear. Oh, yes, I would. With pleasure. If you don't come with me right this instant, little Julian will never rise and shine again. I won't be long. No news there. Well, I don't know, but it doesn't look like Ivy's giving up without a fight. Well, I wouldn't expect her to. But now that Julianne and I are engaged, she is running out of ammo. And her defeat will be inevitable once uh, our happy news makes it to the society pages. Oh, oh, you have to remind me that I have to call him to give him the scoop. Great, so you're divorcing Daddy to marry Julian, and when do I get Ethan? When do we let him discover that Teresa knew he was a Bennett all along? Don't you remember our plan from last night? No, not really. I mean, you kept waking me up every time you called, and it's all... It's still a blur. Oh. But what I said was sheer genius. Oh, I mean, we are going to reveal Teresa's treachery on the exact day when it would hurt her the most to have Ethan dump her. Her wedding day. Why don't you want Ethan and me to get married? Yeah, I mean, is it because I'm not a crane anymore? No. no. All right, no offense, Ethan, but... I'm relieved that you're not a crane. Louise! No, don't get me wrong. No one should have to go through what you did to suffer that kind of hurt. But when I found out that you were Sam's son, I... I was glad. Then why are you against me marrying Teresa? I'm not. I, I, I just think that you should wait. Look, the money that Teresa gave you to start over, I, I mean, that's not gonna pay rent for much more than a month. Let alone put food on the table. But Louise, Ethan and I love each other. But you can't live on love. Right? You have to have money, and your savings, is, it's not going to cut it. We'll manage, won't we, Ethan? Teresa, I want better than that for you. I want you to be with the man who is established. A man who has a foundation that he and his wife can build their lives upon. And no offense, Ethan. You just don't have that right now. You don't have the financial security of being a crane anymore. You don't have a home. You don't have any money. You don't even have a car. Now, what kind of life is that going to be for my sister if the two of you get married now? Such a 
dither about. You've been living in hell if Hegema doesn't do something to stop Charity and Miguel escape. Like what? Like that for a start. I will do whatever it takes to keep Miguel and Charity in Lava Land. Father Lonigan will fight you, Hecuba. He'll guide Miguel and Charity to the ladder, and they will make it back to Earth. Are you sure that you want that, Kay? Yes. If you think that your cousin is going to embrace you when she comes back up, think again. She's going to remember that you did absolutely nothing to help her when she was being pulled into hell. I will let them take me! I will let them You should be worried. Yes. If telling Miguel about Charity saves her life, yours will be destroyed. Once Charity's back on terra firma, she'll tell everyone that you sold her out. Your family, your friends will hate you forever. Especially Miguel. But most of all, you'll never get your soul back. Stupid mortals, your efforts are in vain. Charity and Miguel are ours now. Evil is trying to weaken our resolve. Ignore it. I still can't believe my son leapt into that fire to save Charity. It was awesome. I'll have to save Charity. Wow. I pray that Charity and Miguel find the ladder of Lucifer. But what if they do it and it comes undone? It can't come undone. I tied it off just like the old religious document said to. Ah! What's happening? Ah! The demons, they've grabbed the ladder. They're trying to tear it loose. Oh, my dear God, no. Oh, I found the rope. Miguel. Miguel, grab on. Grab on and don't let go. Ethan has a foundation for building a life, Louise. He's an attorney. I mean, how hard can it be for him to get a job? Plenty hard if the Cranes decide to get nasty. What are you talking about? My family would... The Cranes would never do that to me. Right. And I bet you didn't think they'd turn their backs on you, but they did. All right, both of you, please, would you back off? There's no reason to fight. You're right, there isn't. As long as you wait till Ethan has a job and a place to live before you get married. But Louise... Now, Teresa, you've always been a dreamer. Now, Ethan, you've never had to worry about money. Look, I bet you're clueless as to what the rents are in Harmony. And it's not... It's not like you have a credit history now to, to take a loan out on. Well, no, And, and but since what... you won't accept being a Bennett, you don't even have a last name to give my sister. Look, I, I just want... Teresa to have a, a decent place to call home and not to have to struggle. I understand your concern, Luis, but Teresa is right. Ethan is a lawyer. He can find a job and have financial stability in no time. Thank you. But it's not his financial stability that concerns me as much as his emotional stability. I see how much Teresa means to you and how much you depend on her for support. If Ethan were to get married now, he would have that emotional stability to focus on building that foundation you're talking about. Yeah, and at what price for Teresa? Excuse me. I know that the two of you, you love us and you want what's best for us, but whether or not we get married now or later, it isn't your decision to make, it's ours. Yes, young married couples do struggle. I mean, look at Mama and Papa Luis. I mean, remember the stories Mama told us when they first started out? How they lived on soup and water for weeks on end? Those were special times for them, Luis. Times when a couple bonds for life. So let us make the decision if this is our time or not. Ethan, you know that I can't wait to be your wife. So what about you? You still want to get married now? Daddy, what's happening? These are all symbols of hell to 
me. Who wants fighting the invasion of goodness with all its might? <laughs> Charity's gonna drop a bomb on you as she comes back from down under. But if you help me keep her in hell, no one except Father Fuddy Duddy will ever know what you did. And he can't tell anyone because of the church's confidentiality clause. Even if what you say is true. It is. Even so, I still can't help you. Because I will get my soul back, and when I do, I don't want to live with the guilt. Brimstone, it's Miguel. Oh, my God, stay away. I have to keep Miguel from using that ladder to escape from the netherworld. How? Where well, there's a witch, there's a way. Get away with divorcing me, Julian. Really? Who's going to stop me, Ivy? You? No. I always get what I want. I'm a crane. Oh, yes. You're a crane, Julian. And if you divorce me, I'll tell the world what I've learned while living in this house of whodunits. Like, um, hmm, what really happened to Martin Fitzgerald? Teresa's wedding day. That's when you want Ethan to find out that Teresa knew he was a Bennett all along? Down goes the bride, nowhere to hide. No, no, I can't wait that long. Let's do it now. I'm sick of watching her slobber all over him like a junkyard dog. Patience, Gwen, you have to wait. But why? When... Look, hasn't everything I said come true? I mean, look, I'm already engaged to Julian, even though I have to replace this with a much bigger stone. But very soon, I will be Mrs. Julian Crane, and you will marry Ethan, I promise. Uh, but what about Teresa? The truth will kill any chance that little gutter snipe has of ever marrying your man. Trust me, Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald will never be Ethan's wife. Do you want to get married now? Teresa, I know you want to get married, but your brother's made a good point. I mean, I have no job, no place to live. I don't even have a car anymore. I mean, I can't even offer you the basics, much less what my wife deserves. And that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. Ethan, the only thing I want from you is your love. I know, and you have it all. And I, I know, and you have it all, and I have yours. But getting married now is a decision that will affect our whole lives. That's right. And not having enough money causes more trouble in a marriage than anything else. Money doesn't matter, Luis. Not if Ethan and Teresa love each other enough. Sheridan, I love you. But you don't know what it's like to scrimp to make ends meet. You know, you can strain even the strongest of relationships. Luis, please. I'm sorry. We just want what's best for you two. Look. And I want what is best for Teresa. Now, I've listened to what you've been saying, and I'm beginning to understand how hard it's going to be for me without the crane money. You don't want to get married now, do you?
Give up, mortal fools! Miguel is ours now! Doomed for all time! No! Hold on, Mijo! Help me! Help me, God! Help me save Charity! Reach Pilar! We must pray with all our might! Dear Lord in heaven, please give your brave servant Miguel the strength to fight against evil, to find his way back from hell with Charity! Use Miguel and get to show the forces of evil that love is forever, forever in the ascendance over hate and despair. Amen. 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 I can see Miguel, but I can't see Charity. Do you? Miguel keeps fading in and out of sight. I can see one of his hands on the ladder, but not the other. Maybe he's holding on to Charity. God, let it be so. No. Evil will destroy all that is good! Listen, mortals! Hear Miguel's last words! Help me! I can't hold on much longer! No! Can <laughs> 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 Miguel hold on to the bolts of light hitting him in the ladder? What big around like that? Oh, no! There is no escape! You are doomed for all eternity! me. Let go of that ladder, you Tarzan wannabe! Go back to hell and stay there! Miguel! Save Miguel! Don't you dare! I still have your soul and I'm not afraid to lose it. Yes, you could have had Miguel, but now you can watch him die. It's okay. You know, we don't have to get married now. Teresa, just because I understand your brother's concerns doesn't mean that we can't overcome them. Are you using <laughs> Yes. I still want to get married. As soon as possible. Ethan, I love you. <laughs> Those survivor shows can't hold a stick to this, did they? If our lives weren't so dependent on the outcome, I'd be enjoying it even more. Miguel! Pilar, tell me what you see. Oh, Father, Miguel, he's on the ladder, but he's being attacked by demons. And bolts of light keep hitting him, Padre. It's like they're trying to make him lose his grip. Evil has launched an all-out attack to keep Miguel in hell. Oh, damn! Miguel won't let go of that ladder. We must pray. Prayer will help Miguel overcome evil's wrath. Oh, God. Tabitha, please join us. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 I can't kneel down, dear. Uh, it's, it's my arthritis. Good save, Tabby. For now, maybe. How to save us and Miguel brings charity back. From hell, that's another question entirely. Maybe Timmy and Tabby should leave just in case. Yes, you're right. We don't want to be first in line for oblivion if charity survives that trial by fire, don't we? Dear Lord, we call upon the power of heaven to help Miguel fight the evils of hell. Give it up, you hapless humans. Prayers won't help Miguel. Nothing will. Please protect Miguel so he can bring Charity back to a safe and sound. Oh! What's happening? He's unconscious. He must have hit his head during the fall. Oh my gosh. 
No, 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 no. Reese, no. Reese, what is it? I can't find a pulse. Oh, God. Miguel's dead. No! Esto no puede ser, Dios mío. Esto no puede ser, Miguel. Romeo finally bit the dust. Evil rules. <laughs> You're afraid, aren't you, Julian? I'm terrified that I will tell everyone what happened to the real Martin Fitzgerald. You bluff him. You don't know what happened to Pilar's husband. Maybe not. But I have a pretty good idea. Besides, I know someone who has a great knack for investigating just this sort of thing. <coughs> really? Who might that be? Martin's son, Luis. He's always suspected that the Cranes had something to do with his father's disappearance, so maybe I just have to point him in the right direction to start digging. You will do no such thing. Why not, Julian? I'll be spending lots of time with Luis once he becomes Ethan's brother-in-law. There is no proof that the Cranes had anything to do with Martin's disappearance, nor will Luis find any. If that were true, you and Alistair wouldn't care that Luis and Sheridan met and fell in love. But you do care. You care enough to destroy Sheridan's happiness. To bribe Luis with the FBI training school. To hire an impersonator to break them up. What's next, Julian? Faulty breaks? Landmines? Shut up. You know, if Luis digs deep enough, maybe he'll unearth what really happened to his father. And maybe... He'll dig your grave in the process. Oh. Luis, Luis, Luis. Yes. Remember that name when you're discussing our final divorce settlement, Julian. Luis, Luis, Luis. So you keep saying that I'll be Mrs. Ethan Crane. You will. When? Soon. Very soon. Well, I don't see how. Well, hasn't everything I've said come true so far? Well, yes. No, no, actually it hasn't. You said that Teresa would dump Ethan as soon as she found out he was no longer rich, and she hasn't. Well, okay, so I was wrong about one little thing. But I'm right about Ethan and, and how it's going to be for him learning to live without the Crane billions. I mean, how is he going to feel when to live without the crane billions i mean how is he gonna feel when all of a sudden he doesn't get the the deference and the respect and then when he finds out he's just one more nobody living in a world filled with beer swilling losers living in tract homes oh and then poor ethan is just gonna grow to hate the person who sent that letter to the tabloids more and more and when he finds out that Teresa had a copy of ivy's letter in her computer and she never told him he is going to dump her like the trash she is. Oh, please, Mother, I don't want to wait for the wedding. Let's torpedo Teresa right now. Patience, Gwen. You'll get everything you want in good time. Just wait. Wait for what, Rebecca? Just what are you two scheming about now? We'll get married as soon as possible. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you, you both. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good Thank luck, both of you. so much. Thanks. You know, maybe we should get back to the mansion and tell your mother. She would be so thrilled. Uh, Teresa. Ethan, I know that you're upset with Ivy after everything that's happened. But you're starting a new life now. You know, maybe it's time to start over with your mother as well. And she did stand up for us to Julian and Mrs. Hotchkiss. You're right. 
We'll tell her. I mean, it wouldn't be right to keep it from her. Yes. I'll see you guys later. so deeply in love. Isn't it just wonderful? Louisa, are you mad at me for supporting Ethan and Teresa's getting married? Let's go for a walk. This can't be good. Worms, get ready! Miguel is dead! Did you say what I think you said? Yes! Romeo has taken his final curtain call. Oh, yeah! Why is Miguel so slimy? Because he's covered with ectoplasm in the bowels of hell. Oh. And Timmy got stuck in glitter boxes. Oh, stop. The point is, I succeeded where you failed. I killed Miguel. Well, don't count your vultures till they're hatched, dear. Charity and Miguel both have nine lives, you know. Hmm. Oh, my baby. Oh, see, look at the pueblo. Oh, we could do CPR. Well, that's right. We, we took a class at the hospital. It'll be okay, Pilar. Okay. You give him compression while I do mouth to mouth. You watch, Agatha. Those kids will bring Miguel back to life. I've seen it a thousand times. It won't matter. The point is, Miguel failed to rescue Charity. Which means Charity is still trapped in hell, and it's only a matter of time before she's destroyed. Oh! Yes, toy boy! <laughs> Charity's going to be charcoal, and I will be the Empress of Evil. That's for you two. Uh, yes, well, of course, I, uh, I think uh, we'd better go. I left the sink running. Yeah, the sink! The sink? The sink? Please save him. Please save my son. You're mad at me, aren't you? Sheridan. No, just because I might not always agree with what you say. It's no reason for you to... I was to tell you that even if sometimes we do disagree, I will always love you. And it's okay if we see things differently because at the end of the day, we can still agree that we love each other more than anything else in the world. I love you too. So very much. Oh, I love you more. <laughs> and all I want for Teresa is, is just to be loved and cared for. That's all I want for my nephew. Only Ethan's not my nephew anymore. He's a Bennett, not a Crane. I know that it's gonna take some getting used to. You see, but I think... So I think that Ethan's better off not being a Crane. That I don't have to worry about Alistair and Julian plotting against Ethan and Teresa. But I'm still a Crane, Louise. What if my father and brother try to split us up again? They can try. It's not gonna work. Our love is too strong for anything they can do to us. I'll never break us apart. Luis will never find proof that we removed his father. Never. 
far as ivy threatening to talk. Dead wives tell no tales. Well, Rebecca, what are the two of you scheming about? I demand to know. Ethan, Teresa, what are you doing back here? We came to see you, Mother. Oh, you did? <laughs> we came to tell you that we're getting married. Well, yes, of course you are, dear. That's what engaged couples do. No, no, Mother, you don't understand. We're gonna get married right away. As soon as we find someone to perform the ceremony. Yes, I want Teresa to be my wife as soon as I can make it happen. Oh, Ethan, Teresa, this, this is wonderful. Congratulations. Oh. oh. Well, Glenn, you got your wish. Since they're gonna be married right away, we won't have to wait long to ruin Teresa's life. And Ethan will finally be mine again. Enjoy your happiness while you still have it, Teresa. Because when I finish with you, misery will be the only thing you feel for all your days. You can do it! You can save him! Dear Lord in heaven, please let Miguel live. Please, God. He's alive! Oh, no. Oh, we thought we lost you. Charity. Where's Charity? No, no. Only you came through the portal. I was so close to her, I almost had her hand. Where are you, Miguel? Help me! Charity! Charity, I'm here! Follow my voice to the other side! I'm trying, Miguel, but I can't get out of here! Charity! Oh my god! What is it, child? Charity! Oh no. Charity's on the brink of escaping hell. Miguel saves her. We'll be lost. Miguel! Help! 